It's a tough day for friends and family of a Belglade woman who died along with her two young daughters as they drove home two weeks ago. Today, the three were laid to rest. News Channel 5's Liz Nunez takes us inside the memorial service. Fighting through the tears, more than 400 people flocked to St. John's First Baptist Church. It's so sad for us. For me too. It's a big loss. Help with their two daughters. The little one should be calling me daddy. Family and friends of Dila Francois and her daughter's 10-year-old Magina and 3-year-old Claudia came from as far as Fort Lauderdale to pay their respects. All today, we like a candle for you. Even though the school teachers, they will be calling, you know, they appreciate the little girls for their hard work in school. It's been almost two weeks since Francois' car plunged into a canal on State Road 80. Deputies say it was a call from Magina that led them to the car. If it wasn't for her, they might have never seen them. It's just a testament to what type of child she was. She was a super student, always helpful, always there for others. Exactly what happened the night of the accident, the family may never know. They are now relying on their faith to get them through this tragedy. It is very painful for the family. They are grieving, and uh, this is not something they expected, and uh, it is really hard on them. A trust fund has been set up at Wachovia Bank to help the family. To find out more information, you can visit our website, WPTV.com, and click on Scene on 5. In Belgrade, Liz Nunez, WPTV, News Channel 5.